What about uh, Vince? So you talked about Vince earlier on. What do you think is the biggest thing you learned from working with Vince McMahon? Vince, I've learned a lot of things what to do and what not to do as yeah. well. Um, you know, Vince, he's... What I've learned from Vince is the main thing is this. And it's coming from Vince's mouth to me. He goes, you know, Chavo. And his, his voice, his deep voice, he's got this... Everyone does a Vince. I love it. Chavo. I have, I have failed a lot more than I've succeeded. But when I succeeded, I succeeded very big. And it made me think, like, he was not afraid to, to crash and burn. You know, he, if he helped finance the Ali and Noki fight, he helped finance uh, uh, Evil Knievel jumping the Snake River, if I'm wow. not mistaken. This is things I've heard, of course, I <laughs> was not there. But those, you know, those, those weren't real, those were a lot of big flops. But also... He financed, you know, WrestleMania by mortgaging his house and mortgaging everything. And he told me, he goes, if this wasn't a hit, if WrestleMania 1 was not a hit, he was done. Wow. And, of course, look what it turned into. But I learned that. You know, I really learned that from Vince was, was you don't be afraid, afraid to fail, you know. Yeah. And you never lose. You just learn. Yeah. You really, you really don't, you know, and I wouldn't be where I'm at now with my failures in the past. Mm. They put, they put me on this path and made me make certain and right decisions later on. It's pretty amazing because a lot of wrestlers don't think about life after wrestling. Right. You, you were very good at going, all right, what's, what's next? Maybe you could have done it earlier, like you said. Absolutely. But this career that you're doing now has the potential to overshadow what you did before yeah that's uh i just got that from eric bischoff the other day we we were having a beer at one of the russell russell, russell cades you know russell, oh, yeah, russell cades. Cade, yeah we're having a beer and he goes chavo he goes this is from his mouth and i don't know his opinion mine but he goes out of all the people that got into into hollywood you're doing the best and i was like How, okay hold on there's dave batista there's john cena there's the rock and he's like he goes well with, except for exception for the rocks, who's got his own production company stuff. He goes, but you, well, you're, everybody else has a shelf life in a sense. Yeah. He goes, yours doesn't have a shelf life. You can do it until you, you know, can't think anymore. You could be eighty-five years old still doing what you're doing. That's I go, true. I guess you're right. That's true. But I didn't really think about it that way. I just, you know, I've been on camera a lot, and and that's very very hard for wrestlers. We're such egomaniacs that we have to be to be in that position to be a pro wrestler. Yeah. But I just feel that, like, I, I didn't want to stay on camera and have to, okay, I got to be the one, okay, I, I've done that. I want to be behind the camera. And it's much more rewarding to me. Like, I see what something on, starts out on paper or as an idea, and we follow it all the way through, and then I see it on the screen yeah. or on TV, and it's like, wow, that was a lot of hard work, and we got it done. Like, yeah. God, it's, pre it's pretty cool to see that. It's really, it makes my, it's makes me, it makes me think, it makes yeah. me use my mind a lot. Wrestling, being in the ring was just, to me, was just second nature. And I, I, mm. I didn't, it was just like a sixth sense. I didn't have to think. It just, just happened. Yeah. Like it, but in, um, in Hollywood, you definitely do have to think and, and just really use your brain and kind of, it's like a Jenga puzzle. I'm constantly like, <coughs> like, uh, I'm doing like, like Rain Man, I'm like, okay, the square root of the hypotenuse, the right triangles. Like I'm putting all these things together. Like, okay, that has to work. And this, and then I got to put this camera and this camera angle on, and I got to use this actor's ability. But then I got to change that because I got another actor in here, and then we got a script. And it's 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 a lot of juggling act. It was, yeah. it was awesome, man. When you get it done, it's it's, it's amazing. There's sometimes that I'll just sit in the ring. I'll go to the ring before we shoot. I'll get there an hour before, and I'll just start. Looking at placement where I had, okay, okay, I'm at placement of these guys here, and I'm kind of like <coughs> really thinking about how, okay, how am I gonna, how am I gonna, how are we gonna shoot this? Is that right? Maybe I should pivot these guys on this part of the sequel of the wrestling choreography this yeah, way. Yeah. And then there's another things like like sometimes they bring in different cameras that I didn't know they're gonna have. For instance, on Young Rock one season, um, they brought in a crane. A jib, a crane, yep. crane camera. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know you are going to have this. I said, hold on a second. I said, okay, when we first shot that, we had, at one point I had one of the wrestlers pressing another one of the wrestlers and then dropping them and going to something else. I said, well, now that you have the crane there, what if I had, if the rest, if the actor can do this, I'm going to have him press this other act, this actor and hold him for like two or three beats until I see that crane pull out. And as soon as that crane starts pulling out, I'll have him drop 
the, the wrestler. But when he drops, I mean the rest of the actor, drop the actor. But then I had him circling to his left, but or I had him circling to his right, but that's crossing B camera. <laughs> that camera plays really good on this part. So I'm going to have him, it's going to seem weird, but I'm having him cross to the left and then face B camera after that. So we shot it and they're like, that's, that's a shot. That's yeah. it. So it's a very fine line because I'm not directing, at least not yet. I'm not directing. I'm working with the director to have to get him that shot yeah in a sense you know it's 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 a fine line i'm not trying to step on any toes but i'm just, we're tr both trying to put on the the best you know the best scene as possible thank god i've had only great directors that saw that they're yeah absolutely let's do it yeah. and i haven't had the people that are like egomaniacs going like no i'm the director i say it. so you, until that when that comes and it'll, yeah. it'll be you know and you, sometimes you just got to shut up and like all right this you're the director and they you know and there's a lot of times that i second i second guessed vince mcmahon and then afterwards i'd see it on tv and i'd be like damn it he was right <laughs> you know 